PLCS, unique products for gas distribution. This video is intended to be used as a guide in conjunction with the operating manual and internal company procedures. Always wear company approved protective equipment. Internal company procedures supersede anything presented in this video. The valve changer is for gas free, safe removal and replacement tool for most effective half inch to two inch rectangular port or ball valves threaded onto a steel riser. It also works on PE inserter risers with a service head adapter operating at a maximum of 100 PSI under live gas conditions. The valve changer tool benefits. No blowing gas provides a safe work environment. Eliminates excavation costs by replacing the leaking valve and not uncovering the T at the main to shut off the service. No need to dig up a PE service line to squeeze off. Fast, efficient operation. The meter valve change out process is completed in minutes, not hours. No blowing gas means no wasted service call man hours from reports of gas odors. It is an easy to use compact tool that can be stored on any truck enhancing crew response time. PLCS stocks a full line of replacement parts and kits. Before beginning, it is the operator's responsibility to judge the condition of the valve and riser assembly before attempting the operation. Using the tool outside its capabilities or on a corroded fitting is not recommended and may result in serious injury. To begin, select the proper size valve changer according to the size of the meter valve to be removed. Close the meter valve and remove the necessary piping to gain access to the valve and purge the gas out of the meter assembly according to company procedures. Fasten the bottom jaw of the three-point safety clamp onto the riser below the valve. Fit the clamshaft through the hole and tighten the knob. Fit the valve changer shaft jaw clamp assembly near the top of the meter valve. Fit the second valve changer shaft jaw clamp assembly near the top of the shaft. Tighten the sight glass on top of the meter valve. Open the valve and visually check the meter valve to make sure the width of the rubber stopper will fit through the valve port. Also, check for obstructions. If everything looks good, close the valve and remove the sight glass. Measure the desired depth of the rubber stopper. Place the threaded section of the stuffing box on top of the lip edge of the meter valve. Push down on the shaft to achieve the desired depth by lining up the metallic edge of the rubber stopper to at least below the meter valve. Slide the depth collar to the top of the stuffing box and tighten the thumb screw. Withdraw the rubber stopper inside the stuffing box and tighten the valve changer onto the meter valve. Open the valve and push down on the shaft to lower the rubber stopper to its desired depth. It may be necessary to turn the shaft a little so it can travel through the open valve port. Hold the shaft in place and fit the closed end of the combination wrench onto the drive nut at the top of the valve changer. Use the nut driver to hold the inner shaft in place and begin to tighten the stopper. Continue to expand the rubber stopper until you see approximately 2 inches of threads show at the top of the shaft and noticeable resistance is felt. Open the bleeder valve. Continue to slowly expand the rubber stopper in quarter turn increments 
until the sound of blowing gas has stopped. Do not over tighten. Once gas has stopped, fasten the top clamp. Next, remove the meter valve from the riser and tighten the bottom clamp. Loosen and swing the top clamp out of the way. Remove the old meter valve with the stuffing box attached. Attach the new meter valve to the stuffing box and slide onto the shaft. Loosen and resecure each clamp in order to travel down the shaft. Fasten the top clamp and remove the bottom clamp. Now fully tighten the meter valve onto the riser. Once the meter valve has been tightened, loosen the rubber stopper until less than three quarters of an inch of threads are showing at the top of the shaft. This means the rubber stopper is fully relaxed. Loosen the top clamp and swing out of the way. Retract the rubber stopper into the stuffing box. Be sure to control the shaft with your hand. Turn the shaft as necessary so the rubber stopper will travel through the rectangular port into the stuffing box. Close the meter valve and remove the stuffing box and safety clamp. The operation is now complete. Leak test and reconnect necessary fittings. Occasionally, the original installer did not ream the riser pipe, which prevents withdrawing the valve changer to up inside the stuffing box. This is caused by the top metal plate that holds the rubber stopper to get caught on the pipe's inner curled edges. As a solution, a valve changer reamer removes the metal lip to make the withdrawal possible. The reamer tool is also useful if you need to cut off the old threads from a leaking riser, re-thread it, and replace it with a new meter valve.